information about a rising number of carjackings in the district. So far this year, more than 100 people have had their cars violently stolen compared to just 22 carjacking incidents this same time last year. Now, some of these crimes are allegedly even being carried out by teenagers. Well, you may have heard about this one where a 13 and 15 year old two girls were accused of killing Uber driver Mohammed Amwar last week while allegedly trying to steal his vehicle. Michael Quander is live at DC police headquarters digging into this. So Michael, what exactly can you tell us about this investigation and about this ongoing trend? Hey, good morning, Larry. Well, I can tell you that those 13 and 15 year old girls are scheduled to be in court tomorrow on felony murder and armed carjacking charges. But according to DC police data, this is just the latest in a series of carjackings involving young people. There was a lot of police officers just flying down the street. Jennifer Ruiz witnessed the aftermath of a couple of armed carjackings near her job on K Street Northwest, where two young teenage boys were arrested for the crimes. Uh, it's scary because as a mother, you're wondering what, what are these little boys doing? Aren't, shouldn't they be in school? Shouldn't they be with their parents? She's now posting signs warning food delivery drivers to not leave their cars running while picking up orders after this latest incident in Navy Yard. Just last week, two teenage girls were charged after this Uber driver, Mohammed Anwar, was killed as they allegedly tried stealing his car. According to data from DC police, incidents like these are happening more often and a growing number of teenagers and children may be responsible for them. In 2019, there were a total of 142 carjackings in the district compared to 345 in 2020. That's a 143 percent increase. In 2019, 24 juveniles were arrested for carjackings and in 2020, that number went up to 60. And then fast forward to this year, 2021, there have been at least 101 carjackings so far with at least 23 juveniles arrested for those incidents. It's my only wish that we as a community, as a society, can come together and embrace these children and start to show them uh, uh, the right path and the right way in life. Now, the district announced a new carjacking task force just last month. And look, we requested to speak with them about this concerning rise in carjackings and what they're doing to address this. But our request for that interview was denied. Still, we are going to continue pushing for answers about solutions to this ongoing problem. Uh, as we know that people in our city uh, definitely want to know what this what is being done about this. Reporting live this morning at DC Police Headquarters, Michael Wonder, WUSA 9.